Hey guys, Kiko here. So let's talk about practicing. Let me give you a quick insight about practicing. But before, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments, uh, turn on the notification bell. I'm trying my best to to post one video per, per week. So uh, just subscribe to the channel and let's talk about guitar. So let me show you a little thing that you can add to your practicing. Every time you can, um, let's say, uh, create some variations to your practicing, it's always good, you know, to, to bring different challenges, to make things more interesting and more fun. So let me show you a little thing that you can add to your practicing. So let's say you're gonna practice some arpeggios. So let's say uh, A minor. So. 12, 10, 9, 10, 8, 12, right? A minor arpeggio, tonic, minor third, fifth, tonic, minor third, fifth. Then a diminished. Something like that, right? So first you can, you can check if you're playing correctly uh, the alternate picking. So. Down, up, down, up, down, up. So I'm playing like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So a small variation you can do is connect those two here and it's gonna be one, two, four, 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 ta 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 ta. So it's just a small rhythmic variation but it's gonna create some different challenges for you, right? So now we're gonna have something like, instead of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, you're gonna have. So it's really good to check if you have uh, full control of your right hand. So here we go. Right? Simple. And uh, you can do the same thing uh, using uh, the modes. So let's say right uh, and now So I hope you like it. So leave your comments. Let me know what you want to know or some other insights for your practicing routine. All right. So subscribe to the channel and see you on the next week.